Online learning has revolutionized higher education over the past 20 years, but not all populations of learners have benefited equally from it. In this episode, we explore some of the historical factors that have impacted the success of African American students in the era of online learning. Thank you for watching African Elements. If you're new to this channel, we believe that the same educational content that students receive behind the walls of higher education should be freely available to the masses. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to support the channel, or you can even head over to our Patreon page where you can get access to ad-free content and other educational materials for as little as a dollar a month subscription. In this episode, how will black students fare in the era of online education? Let's jump in. The year 2020 brought with it COVID-19 and the era of online learning. While the percentage of online learners had been steadily rising over the past decade, March of 2020 saw the forced closure of all in-person instruction in colleges and universities across the country, including my own. The result was an abrupt transition into online education. Now that we've entered this new era, educators are forced to reckon with a problem that researchers have known about for some time. African American learners in the U.S. consistently have lower success rates in online college courses than their white counterparts and other populations of color. While black learners may have lower college enrollment rates in the state of California, for example, According to the Public Policy Institute of California, online enrollment rates for African Americans are quite high. With online enrollment for black students high but performance low, it's critical to understand the challenges black students face in their online learning and distance education programs. Such an understanding may be gained by first examining the legacy of the digital divide, second, addressing the gap in confidence of black students in their computer skills, and third, by being intentional in creating culturally competent online course designs that addresses the needs of various learning styles. In addition to social stratification between people with and without online access, the digital divide also refers to online skills and user efficacy, that is, the ability to translate skills into desired results. The digital divide in education therefore impacts students based not only on whether or not they have internet access, but also in their degree of comfort in getting coursework done in a digital environment, as well as digital literacy, knowing how to research, use, and cite information. In her 2010 doctoral dissertation, Alfreda Clark notes that black student success in online courses is hindered by the fact that technological skills may already present an academic disadvantage for the African American interested in asynchronous distance education, as opposed to the in-class learning environment where instruction takes place with all students present in the same place at the same time. Limited tech access serves as a barrier to black students who, in the era of online learning, are now responsible for acquiring the necessary tools to access the asynchronous learning environment. As a result, black learners have to spend extra time catching up to their classmates to acquire online learning skills, which can place an extra burden on black learners, impeding their performance. Compounding the problem, another dissertation in 2012 noted that African American households have the lowest proportion of computer and internet possession. This group appears to be excluded from the opportunity to use digital technologies to enhance their learning and problem-solving skills. Alarmingly, African-American members of technologically marginalized households in urban and rural settings also tend to be the very population of learners who are more likely and higher users of distance and online educational learning programs. So, while black learners are friendly to the idea of technology, that doesn't necessarily translate into computer efficacy. While the majority of African-American students had positive attitudes towards computers, a significant number did not report high levels of confidence working online. The 2013 proceedings from the Adult Education Research Conference 
pointed out that the lack of consideration of learning styles and preferences that are influenced by their unique cultures and experiences as historically marginalized groups in online course design often negatively impacts online learners of color, such as black distance education students. Adding to the problem of the digital divide, research shows that online courses have tended not to take equity into account and have tended to be designed from a single vantage point. Most online classes are developed with the erroneous assumption that all learners are homogeneous with respect to their learning styles and preferences. This assumption privileges white male learners. Additionally, black adult learners traditionally choose to learn differently than their white counterparts, often preferring to learn at community centers, places of worship, or libraries. That preference doesn't bode well in the era of online learning, while in the midst of a COVID-19 crisis and with no end to the disruption of businesses and public gatherings anywhere in sight. As we've seen, the research tends to point to two main factors limiting the success of black students in the era of online education. First, the historical digital divide, and second, black learners tend to experience cultural bias in online course design. Taking a realistic look at those two barriers and past program failures is essential to understanding what needs to be done in order to facilitate the success of black online learners. So, what are your thoughts? How might it be possible to address the historical factors that have impacted African American success in online education? Since I'm searching for those answers myself, I'd appreciate your dropping your suggestions in the comments below, and I'd especially appreciate hearing from students who are currently navigating in this era of online learning. In the meantime, thank you for watching African Elements. If you'd like to support this content, consider becoming a Patreon subscriber. You can join them for as little as a dollar a month and receive ad-free content and exclusive videos available only to Patreon subscribers. At various membership tiers, you can also have access to course syllabi, PowerPoint presentations, and entire Canvas course shells. You can also support the channel by hitting the like button, subscribing, and hitting the bell icon to be notified when new content drops. I'm Darius Spearman, and until next time, I'll see you in the comments.